What about old timers? Thank you. Who are you most looking forward to seeing? What are your thoughts about coming back and being a part of it? Well, I, I have a special, as you would guess, a special affinity for the 86 team and getting, getting to see those guys again. Uh, we see each other occasionally um, going back and forth to do, uh, you know, events uh, in New York and uh, get to see them occasionally. But uh, to be on the baseball field with them again and uh, kind of not so much relive the moments because, good God, we're 30 plus years uh, outside of 86. And so, uh, but just to see those guys again, get to see uh, guys that I coached uh Billy Wagner, um, Patrick Mahomes, uh, coached those guys. Dennis Cook was a teammate of mine. Um, you know, Mike Hampton had a, had a him in Atlanta. So get to see a lot of guys and get to see the guys from the, you know, 69, 73 teams that, uh, that are still around. And um, I think it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for, uh, for us as, uh, I guess you'd say, they're calling it old timers, but it's more alumni. Uh, you know, it's special for us, but I think it's going to be very special for the city and the fans of uh, the New York Mets to come out and get to see um, the guys again um, and uh, say hello and kind of reminisce about old times. You were such a big part of that, Roger, from not just what you did on the field, but the way you, you created such levity off the field and, you know, that video of the hot foot and, and stuff like that is still legendary to this day. Um, will you bring some of that back? for old timers day <laughs> but you know you're not allowed to smoke in the stadium so there go the cigarettes there aren't any match clips to be found almost anywhere around the only thing i can probably get is the gaffer's tape from the cameraman but uh you know you don't have a, a lot of the uh the other things that go along with to to uh to make a hot foot but i'm and, you know i'm sure we'll have some fun it i mean it's always fun to be on a baseball field i mean that's that that's the beauty of it. And I think everybody that will be attending this uh, old timers weekend slash day game that, uh, you know, to be able to put on a uniform and be on a baseball field again is very special. And it's something that, you know, you, hopefully it's not never taken for granted because I know that uh, a lot of people, um, you know, gave a lot to this game and, and not to be taken for granted. And, um, and so it's going to be a, it's going to be a special day. Give us a scouting report. Give the fans a scouting report on you and what they can expect to see from you when you get on the field and uh, get into action in the game. Well, I don't think I'm going to be. I don't think I'm going to be pitching. Um, after uh, 12 plus years pitching in big leagues, throwing batting practice in the minor leagues, and throwing batting practice uh, as a coach in the minor leagues and as a coach in the big leagues, uh, and ultimately I was unable to do that anymore because I, I, I just couldn't lift it this thing wouldn't lift up anymore. So uh, I don't think I'll be pitching. Uh, I make make an appearance in outfield, uh, kind of reminiscent of that uh, that game with uh, the Cincinnati Reds, the extra inning game where Ray Knight and uh, Eric Davis got into a brouhaha and uh, everybody was thrown out. And Jesse and myself got to play, you know, right field, left field and pitch. And so that may happen. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that there's a script, but, uh, you know, we may do something like that.